People is proud to present the fourth season of the 40 Days 40 Fintechs, an initiative under its Include Everyone program, which is leading the way in advocating for technology that promotes financial inclusivity. Since 2020, we've profiled over 100 fintechs and our latest season is shining a spotlight on those breaking down digital barriers and transforming lives for the better. My name is Tinka George William. I'm a medical doctor. My name is Najima Diana. I'm a 24-year-old recent graduate from Macquarie University, where I offered a bachelor's degree in software engineering. I'm a co-founder of Tesla in Uganda, a smart home automation startup that is breaking grounds in changing the lives of Ugandans. Uh, our startup has three main products, uh, the first one being Smart Socket, a smart socket that allows the user to control any appliance they have in their home using a click on their smartphone. Uh, they can also shade you when they want the appliance to work. Say you have a fridge and it consumes a lot of electricity, so you can set and be like, I want it to work from 7 a.m. to around 1 p.m. and then go off because it's done with this work and it's still consuming electricity, something like that. And then we looked at uh, a large scale kind of use. So we also we are also creating smart extensions so that someone doesn't just control on one device, but they can control multiple via the smartphone. And then the other one is a smart light unit. Uh, we looked at the existing smart light solutions that are being provided by companies like Apple and Amazon. And then we realized like in an African setting, uh, these, these, these systems are not favoring the African homes. I've used the smart lights uh, product from Teslon. Uh, the way it helps me a lot is that in case I leave home and I've forgotten to turn off my lights, uh, its sensors will will turn the lights off to save me any bills, and even when I'm back from work, I I don't have to struggle around the house looking for the switches, and as the lights will turn themselves on. So we realized the security uh, section is already occupied by companies like Yunga and very many other international companies. Uh, we looked at the kind of setting they're providing their security in, it's mostly homes. So we decided to, uh, given the knowledge personally I had from, from the Women in Fitech Hackathon, uh, one of the things I learned uh, from the level one principles was including everyone. So I looked at the people in the urban setting of Kampala, people who have shops in like arcades and small, small businesses. These people are, they work every day from Monday to Sunday, by the way. and. Usually, in case like someone works alone, the situation is when they have to step out of the shop. So we created a simple security system that they put at the edge of the door. Uh, usually, their doors are pull-ups. When they're locking, they just pull down. So we just put the security system there. In case like you've left the shop and maybe moved out, uh, and someone comes here, it could be just a mere client or an intruder who just wants to pick something without permission. The system will alert you on your phone wherever you are that there's someone your shop and then you can choose to either come back or still tell a neighbor to maybe hope you watch something like that one way that i think the product can be improved upon is to to get a mobile application for it because the the platform we are currently using is a is, is the the version on the web one more suggestion that i have for the makers of the app is that they should integrate more digital payments into their system so that it's it's much easier for for users to to make payments and any donations because it, it currently it's uh, it's it's not as easy as it can be as a technology company in the smart home automation space we've been currently partnering with flutterwave to handle our donations you've seen the campaign going around social media and we've been using flutterwave to receive payments in terms of donation from our well-wishers via our website. We plan to implement the same kind of system when it comes to purchasing our products, our different products, and also providing our services in terms of installation. As a first-time participant of the 40 Days 40 Fintechs initiative by High People, I feel so privileged to be part of the program. Uh, this program is empowering me in terms is empowering my startup in terms of marketing and putting us out there because it's our first time breaking into the market. Uh, they are really providing for us a platform in terms of uh, finances and in terms of mentorship and in terms of marketing for us young people. That's really huge hope to the development of our startup.
it is on this very note that I encourage any other startups out there in the financial technology space to apply for the 40 days, 40 fintechs and be able to participate and also receive the privileges that, I'm, that my startup is receiving by participating in the program. Join us in this financial inclusivity revolution presented in partnership with Level 1 Project, Cyber PLC Academy, cross Select Technologies, Infitex, Ideation Corner, and the Modulub Foundation with generous support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Follow hashtag 40 days for the fintechs, hashtag Level 1 Project to learn more and get involved in creating a brighter financial future for all.